this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm an independent stamp net demonstrator, and this is another video for my holiday catalog reveal party on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube you can, and want to go to the party on Facebook, just click the link below in the video description. Well, this card focuses on the Monster Bash suite. I just love the suite. So many cute little things in it. And I'm going to show you the suite right now. Okay, here's the holiday catalog. If you've seen any of my videos here last couple weeks, you've seen the outside of the car catalog, but I haven't been able to show you the inside. Now I can show you the inside now that it's live. So if you've got a catalog of your own, turn to page 52 and then this will show everything that's in the Monster Bash suite. If you don't have a holiday catalog and would love to have one and you do not have a demonstrator and you live in the United States, I can mail one out to you. Just email me at Christy Falk at createwithchristy.com or you can message me if you're watching this on Facebook. So I love all the items in this. I've actually used most of the ones in this suite. The only two I haven't used are the coffin treat boxes and the stylish scroll embossing folder. I'm gonna show you everything that's in this real quick because it's a lot better. Even though the pictures are great in the catalog, it's nice to see it uh, up close. This is the stylish scroll embossing folder. I really like this folder. I've used it on a few projects already that were non-Halloween. But let me show you what it looks like on a, one of the coffin treat boxes, which I'm not using. This was one I did in a video, and you can see that under my holiday catalog videos on YouTube. And this, you can see the embossing folder that I used it on the lid of this. But So these coffin boxes are really cute. So if you get these, I think they're 10, no, they're 12 boxes in a pack for only $7. So it's a really good deal. And I think they make such cute boxes. I really like it. So those are two items that are in the suite that I'm not using. And I did forget to tell you, if you buy everything in the suite, you've got the easy button number. It's only $89.50. You probably saw that when I had the catalog up. I wanted to show you that. Of course, you can buy things separately. You don't have to buy it all together as a suite. Okay, and here is the Monster Bash Designer Series paper. This is the one I'm using on the card. I just love all the books on this. Really looks neat. The old man and the sea creature. <laughs> really cute. Here's the other side of this one. This one, this one could be used on non-Halloween very easily. And then this side, looks like a little newspaper on this side. And these are really easy to cut out. And some of them even uh, match up with the dies that come with the bundle. This could definitely be used for more than just Halloween. This one with the bats. I love the little, um, almost reminds me of the Clue game. It's got all the hallways and stuff. And there's some haunted houses one with cobwebs, and this one here. Very neat Halloween paper. And here's the bundle that comes with it, that is in the suite. This is the spooktac Spooktacular Bash. Love this stamp set, so cute. And then the dies that go with it are the Ornate Frames dies. And if you just bought these, you don't, I mean, I would buy these together because you do save 10%, it's a really good deal. If you buy these together, it's $48.50 here in the US. And I love the frames on this, but wouldn't these be pretty just on about anything? I could see these on a wedding card, uh, a special friend card, anniversary card. There's so many different things you can do with this. And these would be really good for um, scrapbook pages too. I could see if you wanted to do a real fancy one, you could put a letter in each one of these. Even using this together, great Halloween scrapbook pages. Just a lot of good potential with this. I really like it a lot. Another thing that comes in the suite are these Monster Bash enam enamel shapes. As you can see, I've used a few of those. I use the skull and crossbones here on my coffin box. But they are just so cute, and I like the different uh, raven images. And then I'll be using a few of the dots here on my card. And I think that's everything in the suite. Oh, the ribbon. Don't want to forget the ribbon. This is a black, basic black scalloped edge ribbon. Oh, you can see kind of some stitching that's in it, and then of course the scallops on the edge. Very pretty. This could definitely be used for something other than Halloween. Really like that a lot. Okay, I think that's that. That's everything in the suite. Now I'll go ahead and start showing you all the pieces of cardstock you need to make the card. This is a piece of basic black. It's five and a half by eight and a half. A piece of terracotta tile, five and a quarter by four. A piece of Whisper White. This is for the monster images. This is three and a half by three. And the greeting, you can get all that on this. Piece of the Monster Bash Designer Series paper, five and a quarter by three. 
piece of our uh, black foil. Love this black foil. Very cool. This is a five by two and a quarter inch piece. This is for the frames. And then the ribbon, the basic black scalloped edge ribbon, it's a seven inch piece. And then, I'll, like I said, I'll be using two of the larger dots, black dots for my card. Okay, let's go ahead and fold the basic black piece in half. Okay, put that to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper here and the piece, my terracotta piece, the five and a quarter by four inch piece. And I'm gonna bring in this, these potion bottles. Looks like more like specimen bottles. Got bones, a frog, and spiders. And my terracotta tile ink pad. This is the same color ink as the paper. I do this a lot. I like doing both. And I'm at an angle. I don't know if I'm gonna get this straight, but I'm just gonna stamp them along the bottom. Oh, actually, I didn't get that down as far as I wanted. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna line the bottom edge. Try to anyway, I'm gonna stand up. I can probably do a little better. Line this bottom up with the bottom of the cardstock. Oh yeah, a lot better. There we go, I can see a little better when I'm standing up. And just put it here near the side and just keep lining up the bottom edge of that. And that lines up pretty well. And I want it, this looks kind of funny, so I'm gonna kind of just put this bottom, there we go. That way it's all the way across. That's why I've got the scrap paper underneath to protect my work surface. But I use this technique a lot using the same ink as the uh, paper. It just a neat, makes a neat background effect. Now I'm gonna bring the designer series paper in. Grab my snail adhesive, oh, snail adhesive, forgot to put it in my little dish. Make sure you get, definitely get it in the corners. Just do a few strips on the edges, along all the edges, and it's gonna be on the top. So I'm gonna turn this upside down because I think it's a little easier. I can see the edge of the cardstock underneath the designer series paper better that way and line it up better. There we go, so that's ready to go. Now I'm gonna grab the ribbon piece. I'm gonna put some adhesive on each end. Okay. Wrap it along the bottom of the designer series paper. And I'm making sure I don't see any of the designer series paper on the uh, outside. Sticking, I don't want it sticking out from underneath the ribbon. So that's ready to go. So now I'll go ahead and put this on the card. Once again, make sure I get it. And I always make sure I get snail on the ribbon too, because I want that to stick on the card base. Okay, make sure, definitely get it right in that corner, maybe one here in the middle, since it's such a big piece. And I'll put this on the center of the card base like so. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now I'm gonna bring in my Whisper White piece. I'm gonna stamp, first I think I'm gonna stamp my um, ghoul friends. And I need to remember how I'm gonna do this. The dies I'm gonna be using, I've got to get these out. I'm gonna be using this one here, and this one here, and this one here. So those are the dies I'm using. And I want to make sure I couldn't remember how I did this. That's why I thought. I made it, this one wide enough this way that this will fit. So I think I'm going to stamp this on first. I love this. It's so glad we're such ghoul friends. Kind of put that near the middle, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to stamp my Dracula stamp. He looks so mysterious. I think I'll stamp them this way. Put him up here. It's funny, it's been a while since I made this, so I'm making sure I can't remember how I stamped these on here. But there he is. And then my mummy stamp. Just to make sure they're good and inked up. That looks pretty good. So they just fit. You might want to make your piece just a little bit bigger, but that works. Okay, now I'm going to color them in. I'm using my Stampin' Write markers instead of the blends this time. 
just because it's smaller and I'm really not needing to do any shading. And I kind of like with the blends, you don't get any line stroke lines you do with these. And I think it looks kind of cool this way. Since there's not a lot of coloring to do on the actual images, I'm going to be coloring around them because I didn't want them to uh, just look too, be more black and white. I want to have more color to it. But I am, this is my pop, no, terracotta tile marker. And I'm going to do his little close right there and the frame here. So get these all colored in. Okay, now I'm going to use the last of the terracotta tile. I'm going to do the inside of the mummy's um, picture. Okay, this is what I was talking about, about streak lines. You can kind of see the little streak lines in it. A lot of times I like the smooth look of the blends, but I kind of like that. It just makes it look more, I don't know, more of the spooky look. I kind of like that. Kind of what I was going for this time. Now with my crushed curry, I'm going to do the frame of the mummy picture with the crushed curry and the inside of the Dracula with the crushed curry. Okay, so that's all the crushed curry, and I am using my basic black too, because I wanted to put a little bit here, because his he's not wrapped up completely, and that kind of he's in the shadows, and it's there we go, makes it look a lot neater. Okay, those are all colored in and ready to go, and now I'm going to die cut them out, and I'll be right back. I'll be die cutting this with this, and these guys will be die cut with this one. And the neat thing I like about our dies now, these are the new ones. I love how the image lines up perfectly with the inside of the die. It makes it so much easier to line them up when you go to die cut. So I'll be right back. Okay, now I've got all of these die cut and now I'm gonna die cut some frames out of the black foil. And they'll go on just so like this. So I'll have make two of these, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got one of the frames all done for you, but I wanted to come and show you how easy it is to get the all the little pieces out. I did run it through my die cutting machine twice just to make sure I got through the foil all right. And while it's still in the die, it's a lot easier to use our take your pick tool. This is the brush, the die brush tip that you can buy. I love how it just screws off of here and then you can put the uh, little putty point back on. Love this tool. So many different things you can do with it. Okay, and that took out almost all of them as you can see. Now they're a little curly cues, so sometimes a little harder to get it out of the main thing. And I think it's easier just to flick them a little bit. And then if you need to, you can use the paper piercer tip to get the other little pieces out that didn't quite want to cooperate. But see, all those little pieces came out that quick. Really love our new dies. They really cut really, really well. As you can see, that's how the paper's gonna look after you get them cut out. So there's plenty of room for both of them. Okay, I'll go ahead and get my die back in there so I don't lose it. Now I'm gonna take my snail, put it on the back of these frames, and just put them right here in the middle, just like so. Pretty easy. And one thing I want to show, these little tips that curl up fit perfectly in these little corners on this frame. So that's how you line that up. Pretty easy. So now I'll go ahead and do my mummy the same way. Okay, there we go. So they're all ready to go. And now I'm going to bring my card in. We're going to put all of these guys on with black dimensionals. Love these black dimensionals. I'm using them a lot, especially on darker cards or projects. I don't just make cards. I do tend to make more cards than anything else, but I do like to scrapbook, and which I am so far behind. I'm sure some of you can relate. <laughs> 
I think three dimensionals are fine with this. And I'm also going to put some dimensionals on this. Now I'm going to put these on the top and bottom, and I think I'm going to grab my mini ones this time because it's going to be going over the uh, ribbon. So I really don't want any right here because then it's just going to stick on the ribbon and it'll probably move around on me. Oops, I just removed the backing, not the dimensional. There we go. So that one's already got the paper backing off, but that's okay. I could have used the big ones, but I think the little ones are going to work a little better here. So that's why I like having the two sizes in one pack. I'm really glad they thought of that. So now these will just go right over here. This way, these will be attaching mainly to the cardstock and the paper. And it'll, that'll keep them on the, paper, the card a lot better than putting it directly on the ribbon. So we go for that. Now I've got the dimensionals on here. We'll take the paper backing off of this little guy. And put him up here. Maybe over a little bit more. There we go. And we'll put Dracula. Oop, a little... There we go. A little curly Q still, not wanting to let go. And I'll put my little Dracula guy right here. And I've kind of got him down a little farther. I thought that looked better than having just a straight line. Now, I need little bitty things here. So I'm going to bring in my Take Your Pick tool. I'm going to grab my little dots here. Sometimes they're easy to get off, sometimes they're not. Well, he's wanting to be a little bit of a pain. Let's try the spatula part. That's the other thing I like about this die. I can swap this out, turn it. Now it's all locked in again. See if I can pick this guy up this time. I think there's some static down here because I know I've been getting shocked down here in my office. There we go. So he's not wanting to get off that acetate sheet. See if I can get that on there. There we go. Once he's on there, he's stuck really well. See if we can get this guy. This guy might be a little, oh, he popped right off on my finger. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just put him right there. Okay, so we've got the outside of the card all done. Now we're gonna decorate the inside. Since this is basic black, you can't write anything on here. Okay, here's my whisper white piece. I don't think I listed this at the beginning because I couldn't find my white piece. That's why I had to edit the video a little bit. This is a five and a quarter by four inch piece of whisper white. So I'm going to do my Dracula. You can do the mummy if you'd rather do him. But I like the Dracula stamp the best, I think. And I'm going to stamp him in the corner. Whenever I put a white sheet on the inside, it looked like there was a little bit of a mark there. So we're going to turn this over. I'm going to put him right here in the left bottom corner. And I could just leave him like that. But I decided I was going to color him in too. So I'm going to color him in just like I did on my, the front of the card the magic of television. <laughs> He's all colored in. I thought I'd edit that part out since you saw me coloring him in fast motion earlier in the video. So he's all colored in. Bring in my snail and he's going to go on the inside of the card. Bring it in and now we've got a cute inside to the card. Okay, that's the card. I hope you liked this Halloween card. I think that Dracula is so cute. Very neat card. And I actually made this for tutorial co-op I'm a part of. I'm participating in a training that another demonstrator is doing. And to help us out, all the demonstrators have the op. We don't have to do it, but we can. And I went ahead and took her up on it. Became part of this tutorial co-op. We each come up with a project each month. We follow a theme. We make a tutorial with a picture of the project. And we can share all these different projects. Like I share them on my newsletter. If you have signed up for my newsletter, you'll get tutorials at the bottom of my email. And I did not come up with all those. Usually I'll put mine at the top and then put um, a bunch of the others that I received in the tutorial co-op. So that's just, we like to help each other out. Stamp it up helps us a lot with project ideas. It's just being a demonstrator is so much fun. And no, I don't have to come up with all of my projects on my own. Stampin' Up! gives us ideas. We get ideas from each other. It's just, it's a really neat family to be a part of. If that's something you're interested in, it's a really good deal. You get 20% off all of your purchases from Stampin' Up! Not office supplies, but all of your crafting supplies you do. So it's a pretty neat deal. And it's a $99 kit. 
and you get to pick out up to $125 worth of stuff for only $99. And you also get a $50 pack of supplies, which includes eight holiday catalogs and eight of the annual catalogs. So it's a really neat deal. And I'd love for you to be part of my team. So if you've got any questions, you can email me at christyfalk at createwithchristy.com or you can click the links below for my join me page and you can just sign up uh, by click it, clicking join now when you get there. So I'd love for you to be on my team. We have a lot of fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this card and I'll be back with another one in the class. See you later.